and uh, Malcolm, besides being a community leader and uh, a Hornets consultant with the Earhart Group, he and uh, Mark work uh, close by and side by side with us on many fronts, but most importantly, he's a season ticket holder. So, uh, as you know, we all, uh, we all appreciate that. But uh, with that, I think uh, I'm going to go ahead and begin and ask our uh, Hornets Chairman and Governor, Governor Jack Sperling to uh, say a few words. Uh, I'm in the thunder. That's my cue. <laughs> Thanks very much, Cheryl. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Can everybody hear me okay? Okay. Um, thank you all very much for being there. We're really excited uh, about what we have to discuss with you. Hugh, do you want to take a moment just to introduce uh, everybody else up here as well? Okay. Let's go uh, left to right. We have Stephanie Rudolph and Irvin Mayfield. And again, you've already met um, Malcolm and Pia Earhart. These are all folks that, not just to jump on Jack's comments, all folks that are committed to hosting these types of small intimate gatherings. <coughs> thanks, thanks you very much. And again, thank you all very much for hosting us. And thank you all for agreeing to be host in the future as we uh, launch today our uh, I'm in, are you? I'm in, are you? Is it on? Good. I'm in, are you? Uh, uh, 100 events in 100 days. Uh, we're really excited about it. It's unprecedented in professional sports. Um, we are. We will have these kind of events in, in living rooms, uh, people's homes, our season ticket holders, uh, over the next hundred days. And the objective is to uh, to attain 10,000 season tickets. Uh, currently, we're slightly over 8,000. But the thought is to empower the people who really uh, have our most uh, supportive. Uh, bands, that would be our season ticket holders, <coughs> to help us uh, find other season ticket holders. There's nobody uh, better to help help you sell than a really satisfied customer. Our season ticket holders are more than satisfied. They're, they're extreme. I've been around uh, sports a long time. The season ticket holders of the New Orleans Hornets are very, uh, very vocal, uh, very supportive, and have been great, uh, great. Uh, fans for the team for a long period of time. So we're asking their support uh, to help us achieve this level to get to the 10,000 season ticket level. Um, it's important to do this for a variety of reasons. Uh, the most important reason is that we're looking to find a local buyer to keep the team here. And for a local buyer to make the kind of investment that we're looking for, uh, is going to require a, a sense that this is a team that has the financial wherewithal to continue for a long term. And so that is really the urgency of the moment, that is to, to try to get to 10,000 season tickets so that we can attract a local buyer to buy the team and keep it here for a long period of time. Uh, we're, we think it's achievable. Two years ago, this team had 10,000 season tickets. Um, it's uh, dropped a little bit over time, but we think the way the team is played and with the support of our season ticket holders and we're slightly over 8,000 season tickets right now we've had great great support um, th through the playoffs um, and it's usually in the summertime you know people's attention turned to other things they turn to boating and fishing and being outdoors uh, so what we're trying to do with this you know, 100 events in 100 days is to generate some some interest again some intensity some energy uh, to help us achieve the goal that everybody wants, and that is a long-term stability for, for the franchise. For our, for our fans out there, uh, our season ticket holders, we'd like to just tell you if you're interested in helping, you, you received an email from us today, you read the article this morning in the Times Picayune. Um, we would like to say, if you want to contact us, uh, the best way to do it is call us at the office at 525 hoop Operators are waiting. Um, and also, uh, NOLA, I'm in com. There's a special section on there for you if you would like to host one of these events in your home. Uh, like the folks up here agree to do. So please, again, it's 525-HOOP, NOLA, I'm in com. Please contact us. This, this kind of event, this kind of uh, initiative that we're talking about, as I said, is unprecedented. It probably, it probably wouldn't work in many cities. In fact, I'm not sure it would work in any other city <laughs> other than New Orleans. And in New Orleans, uh, I, I grew up here, um, but I know that how important it is, social gatherings and, and how important a sense of place it is for people to come into someone's living room or sit on their front porch or be in their backyard together. And it's a really important part of life in New Orleans. And there's no, nobody better who can help us 
achieve our, our goals and our season ticket holders. So we thank them in advance for their help. We thank all of our fans for their support. Uh, we thank everybody up here for agreeing to, to be a host of an event in the future. And uh, we're really looking forward to it and moving on to, to achieve our objective. You? Let's see if I can compete with, with the God's display outside. But <laughs> I disagree with Harold. I think this is a great format. We're going to be meeting at Ed's house uh, next week <laughs> for our next major announcement. Does that work for you, Ed? You've got it. <laughs> um, just to, to layer in a, little bit, a few thoughts uh, in addition to what Jack had said, um, this is New Orleans, right? We get together for all kinds of things, whether it's to celebrate a king cake like Jack and I were talking earlier, or First Communion, or going to a parade, or just getting together for no reason at all. And yeah, there have been teams that have put on events before, um, but this is a, a monumental task it takes to actually go in and, and say, listen, we're going to support 100 events in 100 days. And it takes all sorts of people to step up. Just standing up here in front of you, Stephanie is someone who is a new season ticket holder this year with her family and four kids, and said, you know, this is important. Um, it's coming down to personal relationships that we all have with one another, and she's called upon um, 100 of her friends for an event tomorrow night. <coughs> And you know, these, that event is going to be much bigger than the one that maybe Erd might put on with 12 or so of his folks that he knows and feels comfortable with. And uh, the format could be different. So as Jack said, it's going to be in homes, perhaps in the office hours later on. Uh, even it could be, you know, six to 12 of your best friends will, we'll, you know, put a box together, <laughs> ship it over to the house, and have some people show up, and we'll talk about what it means to be part of the Hornets family. But that's not what makes this special. What makes this special is creating the, con the, the, the connections to our fans that are personal. <coughs> I'm in, and I've said it for a few months now, it was never meant to be a general statement. It was meant to be a very personal statement. I'm in. Not I, we're in, it's I'm in. And now this is the next call to action, which is I'm in, are you? And it's really taking that step to say, if you're in for New Orleans, we all have an obligation to step up at some point to do something, some call to action. And we want to do it in a format that not only suits our city, but that's fun. And so we hope to have a lot of fun over the next 100 days, uh, do a lot of work behind the scenes so it's easy on our hosts, but um, make sure that we're doing it in a way that we're breeding the sense of family amongst our community, that we're bringing people together, and for one more reason, to celebrate what makes this community so great. So um, we hope to be standing in front of you in mid-September talking about this gap of 2,000 or so tickets we have to go to this, this um, number of 10,000 and talking about the success that each one of these events, person by person, family by family, business by business, personally made commitments to close that gap, to do their part, as Jack said, so we can get an owner in here and get a long-term commitment for this team and this city forever. So with that, I don't know if we want to open up for questions. No. Thank you, Hugh. I think uh, it will we'll be best served by going into one-on-ones. Everybody up here will be available, Jack and Hugh, especially for one-on-ones. Your release, make sure you pick up one.